In this video, I'm going to show you how to mix effects and sends faster with a mouse or trackpad in Reaper. I have a project set up here and I want to mix it pretty quickly. I have some drums, a bass, and some guitars, and a few effects returns that the tracks are sending to for effects. Some reverbs and a delay. Let's see what it sounds like now. Now in a previous video, I showed you how to mix faster with a mouse or trackpad, but we focused on volume. When we opened up the mixer, it made the mixer smaller like this, so you only see one track at a time. So instead of looking through the whole mixer, we always know what track we're adjusting. Then we can choose our kick and just adjust our kick. Or the snare. Or the bass. Roll the guitars together by selecting them all together and adjusting it with one fader. But like I said, we just focused on volume in that video. But in this video, I want to show you to do the same thing with our effects and our sends. Now we could do is go to the top of our mixer right over here, see how the cursor changes, Hold on control on the PC, command on the Mac, and drag it down. And now we can see our effects and our sends right here. And we'll see it all for each track we select. If I choose the kick, we see it here, snare, and so on. But this changes the size of our fader. Now the throw is a bit smaller. So I don't prefer to work this way. So let's put it back the same way. And then we have a bigger fader with a bigger throw. So we can move it a lot further on our screen. Now, another way we could see our effects or our sends is to go up here to the options menu and choose show effects inserts in the track control panel and show sends in the track control panel when size permits. Let's choose both. But notice, we're not seeing our effects and our sends in the track control panel because our tracks are too small. If we make them bigger, now we can see them, but now our tracks are very big. If you prefer to keep the track height smaller, we're not going to see our effects and our sends, but we could still see it in our mixer if we want. Let's drag this out again so we can see all our tracks. Then we'll go up here to the options menu and down to the themes and choose the theme adjuster, which opens up this dialog where we can adjust our theme. But keep in mind, this is only gonna work with the default six theme. We go over here and go to the next panel, which is the mixer panel. And then we can choose right over here to extend each channel of our mixer with a sidebar. Just choose it for here and here. Then we can close this. And now we see on each track our effects and our sends to the left of our fader. So now we can make it small enough like before so we just see one track at a time. So if we select the kick, we see our kick with the effects and our send to our reverb right here, which we can click to adjust it or adjust it right in here. Do the same with our compressor, which opens up the compressor on the kick. If we switch to the snare, we can open the compressor on the snare right here, or the EQ on the snare. But notice right over here, I have some other controls we can see. And I chose to see this by right clicking in the mixer right here and choosing show effects parameters when size permits, and also choose to group them with their inserts. So right up here with our effects, we have some track controls we can adjust. 
but we have to set them up manually. Like for my compressor, I can adjust the threshold right in here. So when I choose the snare, I see it as a compressor, and I can adjust the threshold without opening up the plugin and adjusting the threshold here. We can adjust it right over here. Again, without even opening the plugin. We could just make the adjustment right over here. And do the same with my EQ. I have a bunch of bands that are boosted. I could adjust each one right from here without having to open up the plugin each time. And we could do it very quickly just by opening up the mixer and choosing what track I want to adjust the overheads or the rooms. But like I said, for our track controls, we have to set them up manually. So for example, with my bass track, I have an EQ on the bass, but no controls to adjust. So I can open it up and choose the controls I want to show up in here. Let's say I have a filter on the top end. I'll choose it. Here's the frequency we're adjusting. Just touch it as the last touched parameter. Go to the menu and choose show and track controls. So now we have a control right in on Mixer, which again, we could adjust right from here without having to open up our EQ plugin. We could just adjust it from here. We could also adjust where our sends sit in the mixer. So if I choose my kick, here's the send. You can readjust it, control on the PC, command on the Mac to adjust its height, but we want the sends to show up. And we can make it different for each or all together by holding down the modifier. So if I want it different for this one. Don't hold down the modifier, just move it. Now if I go to the snare, it's different for this one. So we can make each one customized if we want. Where the send shows up, make them all the same by holding down control on the PC, command on the Mac, and they will all move to the same spot. And we can adjust our sends just by clicking over here and adjusting them without having to open up the sends dialog. We could do it all right from here. Our volume, our effects, in our sense, just by clicking each track as we're mixing our project. So that's pretty much it. That's how to mix effects and sends faster with a mouse or trackpad in Reaver. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.